Everyone's into movie franchises nowadays. The MCU, Star Wars, Star Trek. No matter what it is, people love movie franchises. But let's look at some that we grew up on that seems to be dead. Well, we're going to look at franchises, mostly from the 70s and 80s, that seems to be dead today, that no one really talks about, and there seems to be no plans to reboot it or do another sequel, although the actors that made it are still alive. Now here's one that has five films in it, and although the actor, the main actor, is still around today, still doing good work, but although he's working mostly behind the camera than in front of the camera nowadays, Dirty Harry, starring Clint Eastwood. Remember those Dirty Harry movies? If my count is right, they made five of them. I think they started, it started in 1971 and lasted until 1988. That's when Dirty Harry met Deadpool. He was part of the uh, MCU. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I got my franchises mixed up. Okay, the movie was called The Deadpool. It didn't have anything to do with the MCU or Marvel or anything or the superhero Deadpool. Sorry about that. But this was Clint Eastwood as a rogue cop, always going by his own rules. Uh, great movies. I haven't seen them in years, but growing up with like Sudden Impact or the Dirty Harry movie. Uh, I'm forgetting all the other. I should have written down all the names now. Um, but... Growing up, that was a, it was huge. Everybody loved, especially guys growing up in the 70s, you loved Dirty Harry. Go ahead, punk. Make my day. Hell, even Gene Shepard turned it into a country hit. The hooch took all the money and all of his hard on paper. But then a tall man stepped in with a cynical grin. He said, go ahead, make my day. I don't know if you can call that a hit, but at least turn it into a song. But you don't hear, what, come on Clint Eastwood, you're making good movies out there. I know you're about 102 and you're doing mostly behind the camera. Give us a final movie. Give us the end to the Dirty Harry franchise. Seems to be dead in the water. You don't hear about anybody even rebooting it or anything. Oh, sorry about that. I thought I wasn't recording. Okay, so Dirty Harry, wouldn't it be great? Remember Grand Torino with Clint Eastwood? That would have been cool if they maybe retooled that and just made it Dirty Harry, retired. Now he's old and grouchy and a racist. I don't know. Bring it back. You could also do the Outlaw of Josie Wells trilogy, although I didn't put it on this list. Because from what I understand, I've never seen all the movies. I've seen them here and there. But if I remember correctly, they wasn't really filmed as a trilogy and just became a trilogy. It wasn't really set up like that. So I didn't count that. But here's one that's still probably popular today, at least the first movie. But it seems to be dead in the water, no pun intended. Jaws. Steven Spielberg classic. Now this is one that they ran into the depth of the ocean. I mean, they ruined this movie. They had Jaws, classic, great film. Jaws 2, summer blockbuster, you can sit back and watch it. Jaws 3, I went to see it as a kid just because it was in 3D. But let's be honest, it's not too good. And then Jaws Revenge. Do we even have to talk about how bad that is? The shark even screams in it or roars. But that seems dead. You don't hear anyone talking about hope about remaking the original. You know, maybe they could do it. I don't know. But they would probably show too much of the shark now instead of focusing on the characters. But you never hear about, hey, let's bring it back and do a Jaws 5, which might be a good thing. Uh, here's another one. Now, this one they did try to reboot or remake and try to start a new franchise with it. But that was probably 10 years ago. If that, and it never became more than just one. We're talking Escape from Witch Mountain. Remember those series? There was Escape from Witch Mountain. They, I'm not looking at my notes. They were uh, Return to Witch Mountain and Beyond Witch Mountain. It was kind of going with that whole Planet of the Apes thing. And that's another one I could put on this list, but Planet of the Apes has kind of been rebooted since then. But Escape from Witch Mountain, again, they made one with The Rock uh, in like the early 2000s or mid 2000s or something. But it really didn't re reunite the franchise. So you never really hear. Let's get find those kids. Where are they today? Remember that girl in it? I used to hate that girl. I don't know why. As a kid, I hated her. And then somewhere by the time I turned 13 or 14, I was like had like a crush on her. It was really weird how I went from, oh, I can't stand that actress. Why she's in everything? To, oh, man. I don't know. Either I grew up or maybe she grew up. Not really sure. But maybe we need a final. Get the original kids back. And have them, let's see, you did Escape from Witch Mountain, Return to Escape, uh, 
Return to Witch Mountain, Beyond Witch Mountain, Beneath Witch Mountain. Let's give us Beneath Witch Mountain. Uh, here's one. I guess the main actor is gone, and uh, so you gotta have to recast or retool. But maybe you said in the same universe. You don't hear anyone talk about this one. George Burns as God. And oh God, they made three of them. And the first one had John Denver. But has also passed away, also, sadly. I'm not sure. The second one had John Denver? I can't remember. But you had Old oh God, Old oh God Book 2, and you would think you would have Old oh God Book 3, but they just dropped the whole thing and called it Old oh God You Devil, where George Burns played God and the Devil. John Denver was gone, of course, and then this time they had the guy from Soap, who then would go on with the dad on Blossom, who also is going to appear on this list again, but we'll get back to that. Um, I remember watching the old, old, old God, the first one. I remember it was on something that was on TV a lot back when I was growing up. I can't really say much about it, but you don't hear anything about it. That franchise is dead in the water. Uh, I guess it went to heaven or hell and it's hanging out with George Burns. Um, another Here's one that was huge in the 70s and then it's just dropped off. No one talks about it, good or bad. Airport. They had the original airport. Then airport 1975, or most people just call it airport 75. And then you had airport 77, that's right. And then you had the final one, I think it was around 1980, the Concorde airplane, 80 I guess. Was a, I got 79 in my notes. The Concorde airplane 79. So you had one, you had 70, you had the original 75, 77, and then you had four of these in this franchise. And that's it. These were those disaster movies that were big in the 70s. I mean, you had the Poseidon Adventure. Then you had Earthquake, where they would take, kind of like Ocean's Eleven, they would bring an all-star cast in. Mostly, most of them was probably has-beens at the time. But after 1980 or 1979, the airport franchise just crashed. That is a pun that is intended. Uh, so we got that. Uh, what we got? Oh, now here's a movie I don't think they would even... I don't even know they would make this today. Now, I've heard they made one straight to video. That's so they can keep the rights to the name or something, but I'm not talking about that. Porky's. Now, I never saw Porky's, but, man, it was big in the 80s. I mean, I was a little too young, probably, but it was it was what they called a raunchy comedy. All I remember about it, this guy had a glory hole that he would look through and see girls changing in the gym room. And then the coach pulled on his, when he put his, through, through the hole, I don't know. I don't know if that was... I never saw the movies. I don't know. I can't, that couldn't have been in the trailer, could it? It seemed like I saw that clip more than I saw the movies. But they did Porky's. Porky's Revenge. Well, they did Porky's. Porky's the next day. And Porky's Revenge. Three of them. And that franchise is dead also. Again, I, I've heard they made a straight-to-video movie a couple years ago. Just to, so they wouldn't lose the rights to the name. But I can't really see in this climate day and age that they would reboot or even make a fourth sequel to Porky's. But who knows, maybe they did, but I'm sure if they did, they would tone it down a lot. Um, here's one too that's dead. Now I would like to see this one come back. I think this one here out of all of them on the list is probably one that they could do and bring back and do kind of a reboot sequel to it. Crocodile Dundee. You got a Crocodile one, Crocodile Dundee two, and then of course you had like a 10 year gap or something. You had the third one no one really talks about where he was in LA. Uh, I guess it was Croc Crocodile down Dundee 3. I don't know. And then there was a teaser around Super Bowl where uh, the guy from East Down, East Bound and Down was going to play uh, his son. And I think I think that could work. You could get somebody to kind of take over the Crocodile, Crocodile, get someone to take over the role of Crocodile, get someone to take over the world. God dang. Get someone to take over the role as Crocodile Dundee. Maybe change it up this time, you know, his son or I'm sure they'll make it his daughter, is down in Australia. She's dealing with that kind of life, the outback life, instead of the city she's used to. Give it a little spin to it, maybe? Not really sure, but I think you could revive Crocodile Dundee in this age. And here's one that's, they did three of them, but to me, they're dead. Leave them dead. I don't care if they ever bring them back. Look who's talking. Look who's talking. Look who's talking too, with two O's. And look who's talking now. I guess you would have to reboot it because if you did a new one, that little baby's not a baby anymore. He's like 55 years old. So who cares if he sounds like Bruce Willis anymore? But maybe they can find a way to work it, maybe. I don't know. But back to the... Uh, but um, I forgot what I was talking about. Look Who's Talking, that franchise is dead. And hey, good good riddance, right? 
Um, talked about that one. And here's another one. I'm glad it's dead. I honestly did not know they made four of these movies. Four. Until I started doing this video. I thought they did two, maybe three, but four I really, I really didn't know. Meatballs. Meatballs is a comedy classic, the first one. And at least I thought it was back then. Hope it holds up. But they did a Meatballs 2, a 3, and yeah, even a Meatballs 4. Didn't know that. Well, no one talked about meatballs. There's never no rumors. We got this cover. Never has inside information about the script to Meatballs 5. Thank God. Meatballs is gone. They took one thing and ran it into the ground. So we don't need that. So that is a dead franchise. And here's, here's a trilogy that... Another one I don't think they would make today. I just can't see them making it today. Angel. Does anyone remember this movie of a girl? She's a teenager. She's in high school by day, but at night, she's a streetwalker. She's a prostitute. She's a hoe. Can you imagine them making that today? A movie about a girl that's in high school, so she has to be a teenager. And at night, she's going out turning tricks. Whew, that would be controversial, written all over it. But they made three of these movies. They had Angel, and then they had... What was it called? Oh. Avenging Angel. I guess maybe Angel died in the first one. I don't know. I don't remember much about it. And then they had three final, the final chapter or something. They actually did it. They actually, this is one of the few times when they said, hey, this is the final one in the trilogy or the final one in the series. And it was. The Angel franchise is dead. Now, the teenage boy growing up, you know, you didn't have access to porn and you had scramble porn on television. This movie would come on HBO about 10 or 11 o'clock at night and you would sneak over and watch it. I can't remember if there was any nudity in it or not, but I'm sure at least, you know, guys my age in their early 80s, people were at least dressed pretty sexy. I mean, and that didn't take much back then to turn us on like it does today with your kids and your internet and everything. I mean, sure, every once in a while we'll find a porn magazine in the woods. Still don't understand why porn magazines were always in the woods. Which pervert threw porns, porn magazines in the woods so kids would find them. But we always found them. Um, but most of the time we just had to look at stuff like the Sears catalog. Like this. Yeah, we thought stuff like that was hot. Again, before the internet. Uh, so I don't think you'll ever see Angel come back if they do. They'll at least have to reboot it and put her in college or something and make her a victim, of course. And not, you know, I think in the movie, she wanted to be a prostitute because it was, I think, the poster even said, her life, her choice, now her revenge or something. Um, now, here's one I'm not going to talk too much about. I talked about it on my ninja video, American Ninja. Uh, not on my list. I just remembered it off the top of my head. I think they made four of them. No one ever talks about bringing that back. So I would say American Ninja is a dead franchise. If I can speak, a dead franchise. Uh, another one here. Uh, this one here was four of them. This is another one I didn't know they made four until I checked my notes. Iron Eagle. Remember that? Lou Gossip Jr. I think that's who was in it. I should have researched that more. I just remember the first one. This is a... I guess they were trying to rip off Top Gun success at the time. I'm not really sure which one came first. So don't correct me in the comments. I'm just talking off the top of my head. Iron Four where they were like airplane pilots and the well, military fit, uh, jet fighters. And I can't believe they did four of them. Four Iron Eagle movies. Do we really need four Iron Eagle movies? Uh, here's one I say I would get back to. Uh, Pink Panther. Now, you, now they tried to bring back Pink Panther with Steve Martin, but you just can't replace the guy that played Peter Sellers. You can't replace Peter Sellers. And they tried also in the 80s with, again, the guy from... So Again, with the guy from Soap, Blossom's dad, but it just didn't work. And uh, and it didn't work when Steve Martin said it. This wasn't funny. I would like to buy the burger. I would like to buy a hamburger. 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 And I, as a kid, though, I never liked the Pink Panther movies, but that was my own problem because I would watch the Pink Panther cartoon and the movie was, I was like, why did, I know the Pink Panther is a diamond in the movie. It just seemed like, hey, they're just trying to get people that like the cartoon to watch it. It's nothing like the Pink Panther cartoon. There was no Pink Panther in it. So I never gave it a chance. Uh, what are we up to now? Here's Chuck Norris. Gotta talk Chuck Norris. Miss, uh, miss, missing in action. Not only is this franchise dead, but it seems the whole franchise of rescuing Vietnam vets is dead. 
you know, there used to be all kinds of movies where that was the plot of trying to free some war prisoners from Vietnam. But I guess, you know, if they were in Vietnam and they're still prisoners today, you know, well, they're about 90 years old. So you would have to go back and set the movies in the late 70s or early 80s. But Chuck Norris had three of them. It was Missing in Action. Mission Action 2 and 3. I think that's all they did was 3. Don't hear anything else about it. No one ever talked about Chuck Norris coming back and doing part 4 to complete the saga. But I would go see that, wouldn't you? Be badass. If they can bring back Rambo, they can bring back Mission... Miss, they can bring back Missing in Action. Man, I can't talk. Uh, and here's another one they did three of, I can't believe, Delta Force. Now, that's one I haven't seen in a long time, Delta Force. Is Chuck Norris in that, too? Lee Majors? I think so. I'm not really sure. I don't have much to say about Delta Force, but they made three of them, and that is Dead Franchise. Now, I'm going to look at movies that only had two films in the series. So, I wasn't sure to fit this into a franchise, but we're going to talk about them anyway, because most of the time, mostly, I like them, and I wanted to talk about them. <laughs> Uh, well, this one has a love-hate for it. King Solomon's Mine. A rip-off of Raiders, of course. You had Richard... What is his name? Richard... Oh, God. Richard Chamberlain as an adventurer. And he teams up with um, Sharon Stone. And King Solomon's Mine. They did that one, and they did another one called... Uh, not check them. Oh, Lost City. And they never did a third one. So, I don't know. Richard Chamberlain's still alive? I'm not even sure. I know Sharon Stone is. So, maybe they can complete this trilogy. Please, someone out there, complete this trilogy for us. And speaking of an Indiana Jones type movie, what about Romance in the Stone? We got one and two. Then we got all the same cast back in uh, War of the Roses, which is a pretty funny movie, but it's odd seeing the everyone get back for a movie that's not part of Romance in the Stone. But they did Romance in the Stone and Jewel of the Nile. I don't think I ever seen Jewel of the Nile. I love Romance in the Stone. I used to watch it all the time. It would be nice. Dan DeVito's still alive. Kirk Douglas is still alive. Kirk Douglas, that's who's in it. Uh, Michael Douglas, sorry. Michael Douglas is still alive. And uh, Kathleen Turner. I've heard she's still alive. Haven't seen her. But come on. Let's make this a trilogy. Let's close it out. Let's bring them all back. Um... And here's one that I really liked growing up too, FX. Anyone remember, I think Brian Dennehy was in it, FX. And actually, did, I didn't think I was the only one. I thought I was the only one that knew FX. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they did FX2. And I went to see it at the theater. I couldn't believe it. FX2. Give us an FX3. Let's, again, complete this trilogy. Let's complete the saga. Uh, and talking about Eddie Murphy being still a hot thing to do. Eddie, come back. Give us 48 hours. 48 hours, and we had another 48 hours. Give us the final 48 hours. Maybe it's 40, 48 hours before he retires. Bring Nick Nolte back. Come on, and we need to finish this up. But it's a dead franchise, if you can count two movies as a franchise. And another dead franchise. I can't believe they only made two of these. Short, short Circuit. You know, that little Johnny Five robot. That one's just, I don't understand why they hadn't tried to reboot that one yet, or at least do a third one of that one. Short Circuit. Come on. Uh, what? Anything with Steve Guten. I didn't even bring up Police Academy. That's a dead franchise for sure. But what about Cocoon? They did Cocoon and then The Return. Come on, give us a third. Ron Howard, give us a third Cocoon movie. Another dead franchise. What we're, Matt, this one here... Another one, I just can't believe they made two, and I'll keep hearing talk about it, and that's Gremlins. I can't believe the, Grim the Gremlins movie, they made the new, the first one, then they made the new batch, and I'm shocked they hadn't rebooted or retooled it or brought it back yet either. That's one you hear every once in a while rumors of, but you never, that just stops, and you never hear nothing more than rumors. Gremlins, they only made two of them. And here's another one, again, I hadn't seen much of this. Uh, so it's a franchise, if you can count two films, it's dead in the water. Stakeout with Emilio, with Emilio Estevez. And I think, is it Richard Dreyfus? Am I the only one that misses Richard Dreyfus? Now I know he still does things, but I haven't seen him in a big blockbuster type movie in ages. I'm not a big fan of the MCU, but I'll go see an MC movie if they put Richard Dreyfus in it. Hell, 
What if he was on the Mandalorian next season? That'd be good. Richard Dreyfus. He needs. Well, I need to see more Richard Dreyfus in my life. But yes, stakeout. And then they brought in Rosie O'Donnell for uh, another stakeout. Well, let's give us the third one. Um, I don't know what it would be called. Let's see. Stakeout. Another stakeout. The final stakeout. I won't be too original right there. But that's a look at franchises that are dead in the water. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> Channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>